I think we've got a back-to-back. -back. Yep. Oh my god, what was that? Do I still have that fish? That was weird. It ran across the water. And it's just the way the line was going across the water it made a weird sound. That's how much power they have though. I mean, it just took off so fast. Today I'm out on the kayak by myself. I'm gonna start out by throwing one of my favorite lures, which I'll show. And I also have some live bait to try. So I'm just getting started today. And there's already dolphins around my first spot. Not a good sign for the fishing. There we go. Got something. It's a red. little one but, but that was a real aggressive hit so it's a good sign golf swing wallet half the tail's missing but they'll still hit it because it's got that action probably like a 13 inch red or something where there's one there's usually more Well, that's three little reds very fast they're hitting really aggressively so once i find some big ones i think it's gonna be a lot of fun got another one i think we're gonna move on soon to find the bigger fish fish or whatever is out there is tearing them up this is the package of the gulp chartreuse gulp soy mullet four inch these things are just as good as wide bait sometimes but the bad thing about them is that they're very soft and the fish definitely can tear them up well there were all the fish That was cool, really cool. Last one. He was in a nice side school, so we're gonna go try to catch more. I'm getting back really fast. That's like a that is probably a 22, 23 incher, it's like a big slot size fish. We're gonna find out if they kind of stuck around or if we scared them off. I was definitely close to them when I hooked that fish. 
it's all of them if you can't tell it. I think one just hit my kayak. They just ended up swimming right at me for some reason. Okay, these fish are being picky, so we're gonna, we're gonna try something different. Same with your kid, we're just gonna put a live mud minnow on it. And just throw it out there and let it sit, see if they pick it up. That worked. The mud minnow worked. <laughs> Bunch of them. I'm just slowly backing up while I fight them, so so I don't run run into them and scare them off. That was cool. It only took like two casts to get them to eat a mud minnow. Another nice fish too. There we go, that's definitely a slot. Probably like 20 something. Yeah, that's like a, a perfect keeper. Probably like 21 inches or something. We're gonna let him go though. Eighth ounce jig head. Just running the hook through the lips like that. And we're just gonna throw them out there where I think the fish are and let it sit. Wait for something to pick it up. Where I think the fish are is like right up here, somewhere in this general area. So I'm ready to cast right now. Because I think they're right there. Putting it in reverse. So I can back up when I get a fish. So I think that school moved. Uh, but when they move, they don't really go far. So all I'm doing is just like slowly pegging up a little bit because they probably just moved along the shoreline just a little bit and then kind of started sitting there. That might even get one right there. Yep. That's too much fun. Way too much fun. It's going right at me. The whole school is, I think. heavier yeah definitely bigger than the last one again I'm continuing to make sure I keep my distance from where the school was so I don't scare them off so this is how you catch a bunch of fish out of one school that big I mean he's another like slot like big slot size amazing fight though I mean they really fight hard I'm gonna put him back I think that's like the third slot size fish we caught going over to the last spot that I know the school was and casting right next to it but as you saw earlier uh, sometimes if you do cast right into it that will spook a fish which will kind of spook the whole school but at least it tells you they're there gonna be some up here. Got him. You'll see a bunch of fish over there kind of getting spooked. I'm just like going really fast in reverse because this is where the fish is going. Oh, I'm gonna run into the kayak. There we go, another slot fish and we get the 
keep the mud made up. You can see, I mean, these fish aren't like big fish, but they just put up a fight. We have another like probably 20 inch or. This is another fish out of that same school. This one's smaller. Much smaller. There's definitely a lot of reds caught today in a very short amount of time. I've been on the water like two hours. I think we got a back to back. Yep. Oh my God, what was that? Do I still have that fish? That was weird. That was just weird. It like, it ran across the water. It was just the way the line was going across the water. It made a weird sound. That's how much power they have though. I mean, it just took off so fast. If it wasn't for these Hobie pedals, I mean, there's just no way I would be able to do stuff like this where I'm just catching these fish every cast right now. Probably like perfect 23 inch keeper. But we're letting go. Put another mud minnow on, but there's a dolphin up here coming right where my fish are. Even if he doesn't come up here, he's probably already scaring them. So this might be the end of our fun day of fishing. Okay, so even with the dolphin going by, the fish are still biting. I was expecting fish to just stop biting with that dolphin. But we got another one. Another 21, 22 incher. Here we go, we got another hit right away. <laughs> Man, I could just stay out here and do this all day. Great day of fishing. Like I was even surprised on how many fish I actually caught in such a short amount of time. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found it entertaining or informational. Thank you for watching.